Hello and welcome to this custom figure review and today we're going to be looking at these custom damaged side men from an upcoming episode of series 5. Um, this is a, a Capaldi episode and I've won I haven't done a Cyberman episode since uh, I would say 2012. Yeah, it must have been 2012. So um, long overdue, but I've I, I always felt that they needed something to be slightly more scary. And because um, I haven't got the latest design, I can't do the thing, and I'm not keen on continuing doing the Cybus design past the use of in the TV show, I don't know why. I'm not going into 3.75 inch, so. Um, this is my first Sideman story since uh, the new design, and for it, I decided that I would change it up and make them damaged and on a, a, a dead ship. So that's what you'll see later on. Um, basically, these are just a load of spare customs that I had and decided to uh, mix and match to show the them trying to as if they were trying to use what technology they already have to upgrade and survive you know um, let's basically get into it then shall we uh, we'll start with um, let's start with the side the mainly cybers one which is this one here if I don't know Okay. Now this is a Cybus Cyberman. It's uh, originally a uh, corroded Cyberman from Series Six. Obviously, they are quite common now. <laughs> there were so many releases of them that literally no one wanted them. So uh, I got I got a few of them spare off of eBay, and this is one of them. Um, and basically, what I've done is taken. Uh, spare customs, uh, no, it's not spare customs. Spare Cybermen classics as well. I had a spare um, Age of Steel set, so there was leftover pieces. Um, this I think is from Revenge of the Cybermen. I think, um, yeah, it must be. I think, yeah, Revenge of the Cybermen pieces across here. If I just should be really close up. Yeah, uh, yeah. This, these pieces are Revenge of the Cybermen that's been uh, stuck on. Get it around the back as well. Um, we've got these pieces as well from uh, a different Cyberman, I think. Um, I can't remember which one that one comes. Actually, I think that is a, a Revenge deal. Maybe that is a Revenge deal. Um, this piece comes off of a tenth planet Cyberman. There's a just it's just been super glued on, and these wires coming off. Um, the actual wiring inside has been painted in a dark grey, so that the body comes stands out a lot more. Because Cyber Cyberman have never done that. It's always just been completely silver with black splotches everywhere. Um, there have been a few dents and like bullet holes. There's one here. Um, I think there's some in the arms as well. Cut pieces of the wiring off, if it would. So it would cuts part of the wiring off. There's been, this piece down here has been cut off. Um, bullet holes, as I said. Um, parts of the shoe have been cut. Um, uh, the eye, if that will stay in focus, the eye has been damaged. Both the handles have been destroyed. There was another piece meant to come across to look like they were trying to fix it, but that's been lost since. So that's good. Thankfully, I haven't filmed with them yet. Um, and there's various splodges of dirt and blood all the way across the entire thing uh, on the wires as well um, just to make it look slightly more scary and that is basically a cyber cyberman as it uh, comes and that's that one 
we'll move over to let's take a look at the tenth planet side men now this one the front chest piece was taken off and instead a um, tomb side man's chest pieces uh, glued on in front if we just auto focus there we go it's just been pasted on glued on the front um, the other piece from here has been come has been taken off all the wires have been left been left to flare around um, the arms are quite dramatic change on this one um, this arm is the same as it was um, the hand is of a cyber cyberman which does come off occasionally and this side it does have a um, uh, revenge of the cyberman it's the top it stays as it, how it was and this is from the here down to here it was is a revenge of the cyberman if you go back into focus again a revenge of the cyberman and then a tomb hand the feet are basically the same this is a piece off of uh, a revenge of the cyberman quite a lot of revenge of the cyberman pieces and there goes that hand <laughs> Very much doing that. Okay, right. I might have to stick that in with a bit of blue tack or something. The face I have to make it look scary because it's the original side man, uh, but I decided to give it uh, blood patches around the eyes to make it look a lot scarier and dripping down the face as well and various uh, splodges of dirt and blood all around just to give it, to make it look slightly more scary. And um, I filmed a scene already with it and it is quite creepy. So I'm really happy that we're with that one. Let's move on to the invasion Cyberman. Now this is a uh, Still, because of the head being stuck in, I couldn't take that one out, so it has the, the same body again. Um, yeah, the handle from here has been taken off. If you look closer, there are puncture holes all over the body as well as on the side, the side here. Um, there was some blood around the eyes, but that's all been damaged a bit. There's markings around the back as well. Uh, we have pieces from Revenge of the Cybermen all the way running down all the way down the side also with the uh, original pieces missing uh, we have a Cyber a not Cyber sorry a I don't know our universe patch is from the Cyber's design but from the Series 6 variant um, again, this piece it comes off of uh, it's of a revenge, and uh, this is actually from the tenth planet Cyberman, and yeah, it looks quite cool. Uh, and yeah, various blood and dirt marks all the way around. Oh, I forgot about that then. Um, I can't. I think that's the original hand. I'm not entirely sure been so long and I changed so much I'm not sure I do know that this hand has come off of a stealth Cyberman um, I bought another set with the sixth doctor and painted it silver um, it's cheaper than buying a earth earth shock Cyberman because they're so rare these days it's like 30 quid for one so I've decided to get a stealth Cyberman and use that we'll move on to the uh, leader of this uh, is I think I would call it the cyber leader as part of this it's a it's a um, big niche mix match of some of my favorite designs and based on a design that, oh, that I saw on Twitter of a um, 
Earthshock style head and chest piece on the top of a modern Cyberman. They used a 2013 design, but because they, we don't have the figure, I decided to use uh, another um, damaged uh, Cybus design. Um, so yeah, this is the head, it does actually come off. This is the head of a Stealth Cyberman, which, is, which has been painted silver, which gives, because it was originally black, it gives this really nice metal metallic look to it, which I really love. Um, compared to what it should like to look like, um, yeah, I'm. I think the uh, custom one looks a lot scarier and a lot more metallic in that way. Let's just put that one back. So yeah, that's the head. It's got. I've just put blood marks on there, there's no actual uh, damage to the head because it's quite valuable compared to the other Cybermen. Um, so yeah, that's the head. Then what I've done is taken a Corroded Cyberman Series 6 Cyber Cyber Cyberman and I've put marks and again painted the wires inside. However, instead of keeping the Cybermus, Cyber, the Cybus front, I've taken the chest piece from a from the Stealth Cyberman and super glued it to the front of the Cybus one, which I think looks really cool. Um, there's bullet holes and things all the way out across, all down the legs as well. This is probably the most damaged of them all. Um, te uh, we've got on top of the original wiring it's got this um, Revenge of the Cyberman wire uh, and uh, I think that's a tomb hand I'm not sure and this hand which is probably the most damaged his hand was taken off completely and uh, cut around and then these wires which I'll probably add some more um, and in the episode, they'll be spurting electricity uh, and trying to kill people. So, yeah, that's good. Um, there's the plug for, plug for the Cyberman. Um, down this side, I think this is from... I honestly can't remember which Cyberman this is from, but there's a nice, nice new wire, if it will. There's this wire coming down here, and uh, yeah, this piece has been destroyed again. Bullet holes. That's the original sculpting of the corroded Cyberman from Series Six. But yeah, I'm really happy with that one. Um, I did actually have various heads that could be put on it, but I think the uh, Earthshock Cyberman head looks the best. And uh, yeah. An action pose, it's really good. So, yeah, that is a review on the um, Series 6, no, Series 5, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. Seri my Series 5 uh, customs, uh, which you'll see later in, in an episode later in the year. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.